Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and today we're picking up where we left off, wherein we have made it to the Returner's hideout, and Terra seemingly has to make a choice. Is she going to be going along with Edgar and Sabin and Locke in trying to save the world by fighting back against the Empire, or is she going to go her own path and figure something else out? Only time will tell. Let's see if we can't maybe get a little bit more insight for her. Depending on if we can figure out where it is that we need to go. I'm assuming that it's up here. Seeing as how we weren't able to get up here before. Oh! Well, maybe not, but there is at least treasure here. Please have the courage to join us in our battle. Well, I mean... Ooh. After you give me all this gear, I might just have to. We cannot equip the air knife, so that must be lock specific. Uh, and we'll probably be saving that knight's code for someone who's a little bit less squishy than Terra. So, yeah, I figured we would have to talk to the leader. Collected treasures from 10% of the chests. Ah, very cool. That's a nice little progress marker. Thank you, achievements. Can I talk to the man out front and leave? Ah, there we are. Bannon? Oh, he went outside just a moment ago. Thank you. Much appreciated, sir. Hey, so Bannon, can you give us some insight into some stuff? That'd be great. Have you made... Er, <clears throat> have you made your decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? No. I see. Does this actually affect anything? It sends us back inside. Do any of the characters have anything to say? Nah, okay. So I'm assuming that we are, of course, locked into this decision. Maybe, what if we just leave? We can just leave. That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think we can make any progress, but that is kind of funny to know that we could just bounce if we wanted to. Yes. Really, you will. But I'm scared. The uncertainty you're feeling is only natural. Terra, I want you to have this. What is it? A charm to help keep you safe. Take it. Obtained a gauntlet. Okay. I have a plan. Would you please gather everyone together? A gauntlet. That's a charm. It's a whole glove. Well then. We all know that the Gestalian Empire is using its Magitek power to wage war. The question is, where did they get that power? I had Locke dig around for information. It seems the Empire has been gathering scholars from around the world to study espers. Narsh's esper was the reason for the Imperial assault there. Are you saying there's some kind of connection between espers and Magitek? Espers and Magitek. Only one possible link comes to mind. You don't mean... The War of the Magi. No! That's impossible! My grandma used to tell me bedtime stories about magical machines. Hard to believe those stories were true. You're saying we're on the verge of a second War of the Magi? It's only a guess. The war took place a thousand years ago, and every historian has a different hypothesis. But one says that energy drained from espers was used to power machines, and that ordinary humans were also infused with that same energy. So that's what Magitek power is. If we're going to fight Magitek enemies, we need Magitek weapons of our own. No! That would bring about another War of the Magi. Then, what do you propose? I was wondering if we might be able to have a chat with an Esper. With an Esper? It's risky, but that Esper reacted to Terra before. If we could get it to react to her again, we just might be able to wake it up. Do you really think that would work? I can't say for sure, but I believe it's our best shot. Of course, we can't do anything without Terra's help. Terra. 
I'll do it. I'm not entirely sure I understand the plan, but eh, what the hey? This sounds like it'll be fun. Uh oh. What was that? Dun dun dun. Bannon! Sir! South Figaro. What's wrong? What's happened? The Empire's taken South Figaro. They're headed this way. So they found us. We haven't a moment to lose. Lock. I know. Someone has to sneak into South Figaro to slow down the enemy, right? This is right up your alley. We're counting on you. Tara, wait for me. Won't be gone long. And watch out for a certain lecherous young king who shall remain nameless. A guy who moves in like a hawk. Lock! <laughs> Edgar, old habits die hard, eh? What about us? We can escape down the Leth River and make our way to Norsh. I'm curious about that esper they found in the mines. Very well. I'll ready the raft by the back entrance. It's risky, but we don't have much of a choice at this point. It's not safe here. Come with us to Narsh. It could be a chance for you to gain a better understanding of your abilities. We've no time to dilly-dally. Let's make for Narsh. Alright. Action is happening. Met with Bannon and decided to oppose the Empire. It would always be cool to see one of these games have, like, an opposite story, you know? Hop aboard the raft, yes. Like, what if we chose not to? What would happen? Head towards Narsh while protecting Bannon at all costs. If Bannon falls in battle, the journey's over. Oh. Interesting. Is he in my party? He is. Okay. He's definitely weak, though. Okay, and they just immediately start out going after... Bannon, I don't appreciate it. Don't appreciate that at all. Oh, he can pray, though? Oh, God, okay. Well, he's an incredibly powerful white mage, then. Cool. Very nice, very nice. So I can't... Oh. I can't check my menu. Uh, left, I guess. Oh god. Lesser Lapros. Get him, boys! And girl! Yeah, so Bannon's not exactly dealing a ton of damage in melee. Oh boy. I think we're just gonna have him pray again. Oh my lord. Oh my god! What? What? <laughs> what was I supposed to do about that? Like. <laughs> it just launches an attack that deals over 100% of the MVP's health in one shot. Like, didn't matter if I had him at full health. Okay. So we just gotta just mow those things down the second I see them. Fair enough, I guess. Jeez. That was cheap. Nice crit. Nice whiff. Nice auto crossbow. Hell yeah. Getting the job done. I mean, he's insanely powerful for a healer, but like... Yeah, I don't like that he can just get one shot like that. That's incredibly rude. Maybe let's not go left this time. Let's try going straight. Okay, that looks better.
The enemies are dodgy too, man. Sabin appears to be blind, which is less than ideal. Everyone's becoming blind in rapid succession. Don't like that. Come on, Edgar. Is it just guaranteed that you're going to miss? It might just be a guaranteed miss if you're blinded. Hard to say. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now, do we remain blinded? Because, again, I can't check my menu to use an item, so... We do remain blinded. Oh, and there's two of these. That's... that's a problem. Alright, so our abilities, we can still land, at least. Oh, God. I tried to confirm my target, but... Okay. I have to remember that with Sabin. I can't double press A. Okay, Bandit got a level up at least. That's good. He can hopefully avoid getting one shot by the dragons if we get hit by the fire breath attack again. Having that happen certainly lended some... Uh... Lended? Lent? Lent some... Uh distress to this whole deal. Do I not have any... Okay, I was going to say. I must have eye drops, right? Goddamn, Savin. Holy smokes. The blind is extremely annoying. Okay, we're making progress, though. We're making progress. We're getting good XP. We're getting Bannon out of here. Oh, we did it. Whew. Now. <laughs> Look at Bannon. Oh, my God. You crazy mountain-looking man. Oi, oi, oi. So he's an oracle. Interesting. And I can't check his abilities. Double interesting. He's got the Punisher. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know that using a tent is worthwhile here. Because it's not going to get rid of the blindness. I think we just have to deal... I don't suppose anyone here can use that air knife. No. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, let's get back on our way. At least they give you a midway save point. That's nice. Did you know there's going to be some boss fight at the end of this, for sure. Nice. So, like, can Terra learn... Oh, boy. Uh, up. I just could stay going up. Um, is Terra going to learn the ability to remove blind at some point? Because we're very quickly becoming incapable of sight here. Which I imagine is going to be a problem before too long. Like, it's not stopping any of our abilities, but still. If at any point we need to do basic attacks, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, that just leads us in a circle. Okay. Oh, God. Here we go. No. Ah, damn it. One wrong move and it's all over with Sabin, man. Oh, 
No fire breath, no fire breath, no fire breath. Okay, whew. Hey, levels for everybody, nice. Level 11 for Edgar, 10 for Terra, 11 for Sabin, 8 for Bannon, and no blind restoration. Good. And yeah, I guess, I guess the auto crossbow just has no limit to how often you can use it, which is pretty great. And Sabin is strong, but notably, it doesn't seem like you can choose what he targets. So that could wind up becoming an issue at some point. Nice, Sabin. Very nice. Do, 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 do. Well, clearly up didn't work, so left. As long as you can keep Bannon alive here, you can actually get a pretty decent amount of XP, too. Because he just keeps you alive. And fire is super cheap, so you can spam it with Terra. And Sabin just disintegrates stuff. Nice. Do do do. Although the XP that we require is starting to get pretty hefty. Dang, another save point. All right. Uh, we've got three sleeping bags. We'll use one now for Terra just to get her MP back up, just in case. No real reason not to, honestly. This is a really cool little segment, though. I've been super impressed with all of these very unique little gameplay segments that they've had. Just in the first, what, th two, three hours that we've been playing? Very, very nice. Again, I did it again. These are not the enemies to be messing up your inputs on, Tom. I do wonder what the purpose is of buying multiple of the same tool, though, if they never run out. Still not 100% on that. Nice. All right, Bannon is largely out of the danger range now for his HP. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, nope, all right, well. Party handled that with uh, grit and grace. Do 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 Burn! We're having shellfish for dinner tonight, folks. Tear about to level again. Uh-oh. Hey, what have we got here? Is this Ultras? Yeah, it is Ultras! <laughs> Alright, very cool. You're up a creek without a paddle. Let's mess him up. Classic enemy. How many games has Ultras been in at this point? Like, a lot, right? Pretty much all of them, I feel like. Also, unless he one-shots Bannon, like, it's pretty much impossible for us to lose here. Seafood soup is not on the menu! <laughs> Block the ink, oh my. Love to get my tentacles on her, is that what he just said? Oh god. Oh god, ah! Oh god! Holy crap! Bro! Okay, that missed. Oh, ha! He like pulls out this whole. Nice. Was not expecting Edgar to whip out this whole like. poison flamethrower thing. Muscleheads hate him! 
So he calls out who he's going to attack. That's very good to know. Alright, let's get a big heal here. I would like to see us be able to poison Ultros, but I don't know that that's happening. Okay, Ultros. Jeez. It's a good thing we've got these prayers from Bannon, man. I wonder if he targets whoever did the most damage to him last. He definitely doesn't seem to like it when you hit him with fire. Oh! Jeez, man! I mean, that's just a guaranteed one-shot on her. Get him, Sabin, come on. I actually didn't even need to pray there, whoops. You ugly mug. Gives me the creeps. Don't one-shot Bannon, please. Oh, okay, everything's fine. Bannon, just pray, and it's fine. Jeez, this Ultras, this is like one of the scariest Ultras I've ever fought. Ha ha ha. Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it at all. Come on, Bannon. I need you to take a turn faster here. God, what I would give to have my haste shoes right now. Uh. Sploosh, glub, glub, glub. I don't like this. Uh. Think it got the point? I wouldn't bet on it. It's probably just hiding down there. Ew! Something stuck to my leg! Tara, get away from here! We should be alright now. Eight-armed freak! I'm gonna smash it with a blitz! No, Seven! Out of my way, Edgar! Oh my god! Well, he's always been a bit rash. Sabin. Oh, he'll be fine. Are you sure, Bannon? You're his brother. You should know better than any of us. Any second now, he'll flop back up onto the raft, right as rain. Whoa! Think he missed the onto the raft part. <laughs> Sabin! Sabin, you're on your own now! Amazing. <laughs> Sabin! Oh no! Uh. Oh. Edgar and Tara race toward Narsh while protecting Bannon. But what of Sabin, who is swept away by the raging waters? And how is Locke faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Is all going according to plan? <laughs> Great question, game. Choose a scenario, Koopo? What? Do I actually... What? Really? So, like... I can just... Do I get to see all of them eventually, or is, like, do we only get to see the one that we pick? Uh, I mean, I kind of want to see what's going on with Locke, honestly. Let's go with Locke. I don't know. I'm assuming that's why it lets you save. Locke has worked hard to stymie the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro, but now he desperately needs to escape. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. Thank you as well, by the way, to all of you for any support, comments, likes, everything that you've been leaving on these videos. I'm recording them in bulk and will be away while they're going up, so I won't really be able to see much of the response to the series. So I hope it's doing well, and I hope you guys are enjoying. So I'll be sure to catch up on comments and things like that once I'm, you know, able to. If I have a chance while I'm away, cool, but if not, then definitely once I'm back. Damn it. 
Gotta make tracks and get to Narsh. Okay, so am I f able to fight? So our Julia goes down with the air knife, but our attack goes way up. We'll put that on for now, but we might need the parrying from the main gauche. We'll see. Rich people's homes always have secret passages. You just have to search until you find a place where you can feel a draft. Yeah, well, we know what that's about, for sure. This must be why we have a save point down here, too. Interesting. We must wind up seeing them all eventually, right? What happens if we aggro this guy? Oh. <laughs> Literally nothing. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. Halt! What do you think you're doing? Uh, well, fighting you. Doodle -doodle -doodle -doodle. Nice block. Not a lot of damage, though. That could be a problem. Oh! Um. I think we run. I think running. Oh, I can't. Defend row? Oh. Right. Is that. That will reduce the damage we deal, but I'm assuming it also reduces the damage we take. Oh, God. Interesting that I can't choose to run. As long as we don't get metal knuckled again, we'll be alright. Oh, good block. I don't know that we're going to be able to kill this thing, but we're going to do our damnedest, I suppose. Oh, mama. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal. Okay, good dodge on the metal knuckle. How much health could it possibly have, right? It's just a soldier in Magitek armor and we're stabbing it with a knife. death. Okay. Understood. Ah, interesting though. Okay. Wasn't expecting it to put us back here. Curious. I'm wondering if there's anything we're going to be able to find. This guy still wants cider. I wonder if I can get him cider now. Maybe. Okay, kid's just blocking the downstairs. Fair enough. Yeah, let's see if we can try and get to the bar. We could buy items. Oh. Interesting. Do I have to beat the Magitek soldier? No way. Oh, I guess maybe I do. Unless I can get past through the potion shop. Or I can, like, maybe get cider here somewhere? Save from those armored soldiers. They'll kill you just for talking to them. Yeah, well, yeah. Infamous thief lock, aren't you? Oh, now that was just plain rude. I'm a treasure hunter. Don't you forget it. Oh! Pff, uh, oh. <laughs> what? Okay. Can I steal cider from this guy? Oh! We stole a main gouge from him. And his clothes! <laughs> Here we go! Ah! A little tight. But the price was right. Wow. The guy's in his birthday suit! <laughs> nice! Oh my god, how awesome. Okay, so now... We can presumably get past. Very, very interesting. Hmm. 
not buying anything. Okay. So, it's either one of the soldiers or the cider man. I don't dare talking to the Magitek soldier unless it's my literal last resort. This is the guy that was bringing cider to the guy. No cider, then what are you doing here? Damn it! Ah! Okay. You're a merchant, right? Okay, go ahead. Why? What? <laughs> okay. Can I... Can I steal the Magitek armor? Maybe I can. Mayhaps I can. Okay, so here's what's going to have to happen here. Because I have to call this one, not just because... Um, not just because I'm at 30 minutes, but because I actually have to get ready for uh, a stream. So I'm going to have to call this one here. But when we come back, we are absolutely going to see what it is that we can do here with Locke. And then once we finish this segment, we'll find out if, like we're able to do the other scenarios and if we're not then maybe i'll do a separate episode for each one just to see them all i don't know we'll figure it out but for now i'm going to call this one here so guys thank you all so much for the support i hope you enjoyed and I hope you're continuing to enjoy final fantasy 6 because i'm absolutely loving it i can absolutely see why people adore this game so very much so if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't that would be great but until the next one my name has been tom otherwise known as titanium Legman. I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now.